So it's not just your feet, your arms or your head. A clean technique requires you to blend it and coordinate all these movements. So take a moment now and notice how each ballet step, ballet movement and position requires you to use all these movements. And how different parts of your body can execute the movements of bending, stretching, raising, turning, jumping, darting and gliding. One thing I have changed recently is to buy my exercises in variation, including for the bras and for the tap, so not just the legs movements. It takes a bit more time, but it really helps when I rehearse. We hope you can now see how these elements fit together and how deep you can stop thinking about your dance. Mm. So consider how the same step and movement can be executed differently and tell a different story. Recognize how you can make use of this classification to bring richness to your dancing. Perceive those differences in the language of your choreographer and use it to adhere to the vision of the piece you're dancing. Notice how you musicality improve by using the right quality of movements. How do you explain the plié movement? What is the direction you use when you stretch? Tendre. What's the difference between tendre and relier? What are the two fundamental elements of tourning? What is the key difference between a jump, so, and a dart, a lancé movement? Can you explain why a grand saut de basque is a jump and not an élancé movement in this classification? What image do you do in a glissé movement? Do you know Anatole? <laughs>